Hi everyone, it's Bree from Let's Talk Teens and today's how-to videos we're going to talk about how to set up privacy settings and like I like to call them safety nets on our child's iPhone and on their iPad. So what you're going to do is go to settings. It's the same on both. I'm on my son's iPad. He's a second or sorry, a third grader now. And you're going to go to settings, go to general. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says restrictions. Now you can see that I already have the restrictions on. And so, oh, somebody has been trying to change the restrictions. <laughs> um, so then I'm going to put in my password that I've already set up. When you first set this up, you'll have to create a password. Obviously make it something that your child won't guess. They clearly try to get into it. <laughs> um, mainly I know it's because my son, he wants to upload apps without asking. So we have to just work through that. And this is where you can comb through all the settings that work for your family, making sure that this aligns with the boundaries that you're already setting up and the agreement that you have with your kids before they even got the device. And so, or if they've done it and you haven't set up the boundaries, um, I have a template that you can use if you want to start now. And then you go into the restrictions. And by the way, I'll put the template link below. But you go into restrictions and then here for my third grader, I don't let him go on the internet on his iPad. Uh, we have restrictions set up on his computer, his homework computer, and so he goes on it there. I don't want him just Google searching on his iPad. So we have that off, but you can turn that on. And then um, camera, obviously, you can go through all these different settings to see what works for you. FaceTime, we let him FaceTime with his big brother. So you can also put in the people that you want him to FaceTime with and then not share contacts that you don't. Um, installing apps. I go back and forth depending. Sometimes I have this off where I don't want him to install apps. I also recommend having your kids on the family, um, the family plan for iTunes so that they have to okay everything through you. That's also a great way to do it. And Installing apps, deleting apps. This is also something, you know, it's okay for me uh, for him to delete them, but I just don't want him to upload apps without me knowing. And then obviously the ratings here. Then you go through each one of these, you know, how you want your music. Is it okay that they do explicit for me? No. Uh, movies. Then you just check out the ratings, TV shows, books, apps, etc. Siri. Okay, so this is something that you, <laughs> I missed with my six-year-old on her tablet, and you do want to do this because she was trying to text her brother and say, no way, and using Siri, and Siri said the F word to her brother through texting because when she's turned on, then she's a cusser. <laughs> so you just want to turn that off if you don't want her to use the F word with your <laughs> child when he's texting. And then apps, you also can control the app rating, password settings, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so websites, this is really important to go through. If you do allow them to search the web, I love this because this is a safety net, the first safety net you set up before you start using tools and web browsers and things like that. You can come in here and allow him to only search specific websites. So I set my list up right here see AB or Apple start and then you can go and you can add websites see right here add a website so if you have a specific website that you want to add that your child is allowed to use um, you can also limit adult contact content if you do this it's basically leaving it up to the tablet to filter and that's not always um, g-rated let's just say that <laughs> And location services, this is a huge privacy issue. You wanna turn off the location service on the camera. See how I say never? Because anytime he puts a picture out there, there's um, a stamp that you won't see, but it will be embedded in the photo that says where they are and what time it is and all of that. So for privacy, it's important to restrict that. Accounts, you can just go through each one of these yourself. At the very bottom, this is also a great feature, the Game Center. You can decide if you're okay with your child to play with strangers on their, their games. So pretty much all of the games are web-based now and allow 
people from all over the world to play games with our children. And so for me, I actually do not allow him to play multiplayer games. Um, I just don't know, he's not ready to make sure that he's staying safe online in that capacity. Um, adding friends can be an option where you can help him add the right friends um, in the sense where it's, you know, a cousin or a big brother or something like that or somebody that you know from his class. Um, so if that you feel that that's a better option, then feel free to do that as well at the very bottom. So these are all great first start safety nets that are built into your child's device. So again, this is an iPad. The settings are the same on an iPhone and um, an iPod, and so you can use this wherever you go. I just recommend starting here, and then you can go to the other how-to videos to see how you can set up Google safe searches and other things to help our kids stay safe online. It's a huge world <laughs> that we're exposing them to, and so being able to start here and, and help them stay safe is a, is a huge step in the right direction. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can see more tips and advice at letstalkteens.com slash workshops. And we'd love to give you a discount code today. If you go in and enroll in the course and you put in the code LTT30, you get 30% off any of the packages. Thanks again so much for joining. I wanna hear if you have questions or comments, look for other how-to videos at letstalkteens.com. And I'd love to hear any tips that you may have. Join the conversation in our Facebook group or online. Thank you so much.